Have you ever been called a hypocrite? If you have, it hurts, doesn't it? Most of us can take being called a lot of names, but there's just something about being called a hypocrite that just really, really stings, and it stings very deeply. In the 23rd chapter of the book of Matthew, Jesus called some of the religious leaders of His day hypocrites. In fact, in that one chapter, He did so seven different times. But in verse 3 of that chapter, Matthew chapter 23, He said what He meant in using that term when He said, They preach, but they do not practice. You see, the word hypocrite, you may know, comes from a Greek word that basically came from the theater. And the idea behind it was, it was someone who was wearing a mask. It was someone who would play a role and then go off stage, change masks, come out and play a completely different role. You may have seen it symbolized before with those masks that one is smiling and the other is frowning. Often those would be worn by the very same person. They were a hypocrite. They were wearing a mask. They were just playing a role. We often think of a hypocrite as someone who says two different things or who says one thing and does another. That's why Jesus meant it when He said, they preach but they do not practice. Remember, Jesus knew their hearts. He knew all about them. And so He could rightly call them hypocrites because He knew what their heart was saying when their actions said something totally different. And Jesus knew that this was not just some mistake or just, just some one-time error on their part. He knew their heart. He knew this was their lifestyle. You know, our goal should be to live in such a way that when we do make a mistake, it is just that. It's the exception. It's not the rule. And so people who would call us hypocrites really are just wasting their breath because they have no room to talk. We, we're going to make mistakes, all sin and fall short of the glory of God, but it's not our lifestyle. God knows, however, what would He say about us. And so today and every day, let's keep our central focus on making certain that our lifestyle aligns with what we say it does.